Hey love bugs, this is Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed um, on this fabulous Friday. Uh, if you um, have been watching my videos for a while and as well as the newbies, as well as the ones that, you know, my ride or dies, thank you so much for the love and support. It's truly, truly appreciated. So with that being said, namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. Please drop me a line. I would love a chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know me and if you feel like you vibe with the video I'd love for you to see if somebody else can vibe with it too so uh, I hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and the topic of discussion today is twin flame 101 hey oh cuz it's okay to not be okay all the time you know we go through so many different things in our life to where you have ups you have downs you have your highs you have your lows you know you can have a day where it's just like you weeping willy and then the other ones you like mad max beyond thunderdome like one of the big juggernaut ones you know the juggernaut soldiers is just like hell bent on just destroying everything you know we can go through all those different things in life you know but you're allowing yourself to know you're a real g you really are you are a straight og that really puts a high definition a heavy it holds weight on the definition of what a Hayoka warrior is because we go through so many different things at times we do it ass backwards but hey it is what it is you know um and it's okay to not be okay all the time you know um y'all have seen me if you've been with me for a while you've seen every vibe of me every shade of me there'll be different times where I'm just like jokey jokey there'll be times where I'm really off the chain where I'm ready to just you know start committing some stuff um or there's days that I felt like I was falling apart in universe use that is me being vulnerable in front of y'all which I hate to do I don't like nobody seeing me cry especially if it's an ugly cry I'm like oh let me not you know um and using that as uh being you know transparent to be able to understand you know she knows what I'm going through you know there's a lot of time you got to be bold um when you're actually sitting up on the platform and allowing people to place judgment on your life it's not easy to talk about the things you talk about especially here it's not easy to do that because, you know, I know it can place a lot of, you know, fear type vibes in a lot of different things that you may be taking, you know, uh, that could be sitting back seat with you. You know, people ask me, how, how can you do it? And, you know, and I say, I was once there to where I fear what other people say or, you know, um, let the enemies think that they're getting the best of me you know all those different things and I had to be at that point to say you know what when you know you're doing good and you know you're making a purpose of positivity and you're keeping it real you're always gonna have haters you're always gonna have enemies and you know no matter if you're doing good or bad there's always gonna be something to said about you so you should go ahead and do make the most of it you know it's like today is not one of those days that I'm okay but I'm allowing myself to use this as fuel like you know like I tell y'all this is like um, a positive outlet for me this is kind of like a soul diary that um, I can allow myself to say you know you see all the different shades of me you know honestly, I'm not using this for a pity party I'm not using this to make people feel sorry for me or you know, or just trying to prove a point to anybody. It's just like, yeah, I'm going to have one of the moments, but you know what? I'm allowing myself to go ahead and sit in that, you know, being honest with it, you know, because there have been times, you know, back in, the, back in the day where I really would try to shake my vibes off and use that as a purpose instead of allowing myself to be honest about the feelings I was carrying because I was, I knew there was a lot of people that watched me that didn't want to see me prosper. I know there was a lot of enemies that watched me to do everything they possibly can to knock me down and keep me down. You know, they, they'll press pause, you know, like I said, and they can be like, you know, when they see this little thing here, you know, and they were trying to think, hey, you know, what is it going to get for this fall off? Where is it going to get for her to quit? And she's like, I'm not going to quit. I'm not going anywhere. <laughs> you know, it's like, I'm not going anywhere, you know, and I'm going to keep going. And I felt, I mean, when I say I fully wrote with that and I really, fully, really fully respected that. I had to allow myself to keep moving, you know, because there's too many different things when you know you, you, you know, you follow a beat to your own drum. You got a vibe that a lot of people aren't used to and it can really get attention in some kind of way. You know, even if you're not that type of person to say, hey, you know, I need attention or anything like that. But you, you just got that vibe. And a lot of us have that, you know, and there's a lot of people that have that and just, you know, they don't know how to access that because they you know they don't want to allow themselves to you know get in contact with different things in their life that's really it can really shake you 
And this is like, like I said, there's no bad mouth talking to anybody or anything like that because I've been there. I, you know, I would use more excuses than allowing myself to be brave enough to find that truth within myself. You know, I always found, ex, you know, uh, external access towards different things when I already know everything that I needed was within, you know. And it's okay. You can you have those moments because you're keeping it real with yourself. You know, I'm not okay right now. <laughs> you know, so I'm really not okay right now. But I'm allowing myself to vibe through that, you know, because I already know this is only temporary. Even though I may feel like it's, you know, it, it may feel like, oh, this going to never stop. You know, you already know deep down inside it's only temporary. You know, you're going through this and you can use this to allow it to break you or you can allow it to make you. You know, allowing myself to pull through, not giving a dang on what anybody thinks, feels, mocks. So, you know, I said people mock me. You know, people judge me. You know, they want to place judgment on me. I'm like, do you have your life figured out? Okay, I'll wait. <laughs> you know, I was like, oh, what have you been doing, contributing, whatever. You know, and it's at that point where I had to really use that as fuel to keep moving. You know, really, really keep moving. And it, it can be that thing that can be very admiring. You know, I, I've seen different people that can be going throughout their day and like, that they are really strong. But, you know, and, and you just really don't know what goes on behind closed doors with that person to get that way. You know, but the first thing you know, if you're allowing yourself to just say, you know what, it's just like a really crappy day, but I'm trying to find a good end to it. I'm trying to allow myself to use this as fuel to be consistent with myself. Even if I feel like walking away, it's just something that keeps on rerouting me back to that, that point where I felt like I was better, ready to part ways with everything. It just keeps rerouting you. You know, it's like, uh-uh. You know, you're trying to find that GPS and it keeps on picking you right back to the same point. Like, I don't want to be there. Okay, I don't, I know you don't want to be there. But this is that, you know, this is where that purpose is taking you to and it's going to reroute you every time. You know, you can't resist this. You know, it, uh, I forgot one of the, you know, one of the, uh, Soul family said that today. Whatever. Now it was Alexander. I know who it was. It's like, what you resist, it'll, it, it'll persist. And that's true. You know, when you're allowing yourself to be honest, you know, it's, it's okay. I'm not okay today, but it's going to be okay. You know, if I'm going to cry, it's going to be okay. If I get mad, that's all right. It's going to be okay. You know, but you're allowing yourself to keep moving forward with that. You know, and I tell people, you know, I be wanting to help you, but hell, I got to be able to help myself first. And I say, I ain't trying to have you up in the rabbit hole with me. You be deeper than me. You keep messing with me. You know, and I allow myself, I'm like, hey, just give me a pause. Give me, give me a minute. You know, let me allow myself to fix myself up, you know, get myself rewired. And I'll be back better than I was before. And I'll be able to help you any any kind of way I possibly can if, you know, university fitted that. You know, and then going through those different things in life, it, it, it just, it keeps going and keeps going and keeps going. And a lot of times it may feel like it keeps knocking you down and knocking you down. And a lot of times it just do that just to see, are you willing to get back up? You ain't got to stay down on that ground. You can brush your knees off, you know, like Leah say, dust yourself off and try again. <laughs> you know, just keep on dusting yourself off and trying again because you really do have that power. And a lot of times it's hard to see that because you're not giving yourself credit to that. You know, and it's okay because it's like, you know, a lot of times you're like, I don't even know how much more of this I can take. Or it's just like, it's like universe push me one more time. I'm going to be that type of person. They keep pushing you just to see if you're going to push back. But push back in a therapeutic way. Th push back in a way that is going to make you grow. I recognize like that. It pushed me out. I didn't even see. I didn't even know my own strength like that. You know, and just really being able to allow yourself to really see what you're really made of when you're when you're allowing yourself to go through those emotions. It's, an, and it's very okay to be able to do that. It's very okay to be able to do that because it's just like nobody's equipped to sit up here and have positivity happening all the time, and you you just going to be positive, Patty, all the time. You know, now if you have one of them ones, it's just like misery, love, company, monk house, you know, all that stuff to where, okay, I'm, you know, I'm hell bent and I, I just refuse to see anybody happy and I'm, you know, I'm trying to be happy. Okay. But what makes you happy? And you know, they can't tell you that anything that makes you happy. I want to take that away and make myself happy. And that's miserable. And you are not here to be that, you know? It, you know, it's just allowing yourself to really go through those terms when, when it's taking tolls on you. You know, and allowing yourself to really go through it is just like, you know what? Let me allow myself to have this day and go through it today. You know, the universe, we want to talk to you. I'm like, I don't want to hear you today. Let me allow <laughs> myself. God be like, I don't want to hear you today either. You know, let me just go through this and I maybe want to be hearing you tomorrow. You know, or maybe later on today. Just allow myself to really just go through that. And it's all right. 
you know, and it's all right. You know, you go through all these different things in your life because it's like when I talk to a lot of y'all, y'all be telling me, Ross, I'm really going through it. You know, I'm just really hell bent. You know, I get pissed off. You know, I'm, you know, it's just like I'm clap my energy clashing with other people. People override my boundaries, and you know, I'm trying to, you know, I'm trying to talk to them, but I feel unheard. And it is just like a lot of times when it's stuff like that. It's just basically telling you when people keep overriding your boundaries, that means they don't respect you as an individual. They want you to prioritize them, but they don't want to do that with you. So that's that time to cut, you know, cut that off. A lot of times we feel like we can't make it without different people. We can't do this. And it's just like if this person is, is putting you through constant changes and it seems like they're not bringing out the best, but they bringing out the stress, you have to see which one do you want. You know, which one do you want? You know, that one, you know, and a lot of times it, it can make us very angry, but we don't realize those type of situations are blessings in disguise because it's showing you when you, when we place love in ourselves and it was like, oh, I forgot to share that in that video today and that mess hooked me up. I mean, when I say it hooked me up, it shook me up deep. When it, uh, I forgot what the dude name is, but he a comedian, that boy funny as I don't know what. Uh, when he says when you when you are the best version of yourself you are not going to allow anybody that comes into your life that don't have good intentions you just going to give them enough but when you see that you're going to be able to withdraw you know when you constantly making deposits and they withdraw and they add nothing to the account you allow yourself to close that 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 going to bank down you know allowing yourself to do that and it's just like with me you know I, i've gone through a lot of different times with that but now it, it just makes me very assertive and i say look you know, it's not impersonal, but if it's like my vibes get shifty with you, I'm gone. If I feel like you keep overriding my, my boundaries when I keep reminding you out of it, I'm blocking you and then I'm gone. You know, or if I have to put you in check too much about saying, you know, you're not going to disrespect me, I'm gone. That's only going to happen at one time. <laughs> you know, and I'm gone. And, and it's just like when I allow myself to see that, you know, even though it, it's like my experience really made me put bars up walls up against a lot of people just because the fact is what I went through and it was just like Ross and I can see why you like that when you understand my pain you, you would you allow yourself to em embrace with that love with me when you know my pain from the rawness of what I went through you will understand why I am the way I am and I used to be that type of person I'll tell people real quick that's that point where you have to really allow yourself when you even see the most toxic vibes it's just like it just moves your skin in a certain kind of way and you know you have gone through changes because it's like that oldness of toxicity and drama just don't sit well with you regardless on what you're going through that felt like it ain't changed that mess done changed you from death you know from the death and it hit deep and he was just like when you allow yourself to be the best version of yourself you start seeing things in a lot of different ways you know every day is not you ain't gonna be always see it every day especially when you're in your feelings about different stuff but then it's like when you get right with yourself you you pick up a vibe you even know you had and a lot of times it it takes us to be able to be in that pissed off mode or it takes us to be on that vibe of wanting to give up and you want to second guess yourself doubt yourself you know because that's what the devil and the entity want you know really wants you to do that because they see that power in you and they fear the hell out of that you know and so it, it's just like you're going through all these different things in your life and it's just like you know you you'll see all these different burdens that you've been you know you've been dealt you know we've been played you know we don't pick the cards that we have we just got to be able to play them the best way we know how and through that we're, we're having to do that through those different sequences you know and it's okay to not be okay and it's not all the time but this is that time to prioritize yourself you know even when you get out your feelings allow yourself to really see everything that's taking place what is it telling you what is your experiences want you to know for you to know it for it to know you you know, you're going through all these different things and it has a reason for happening, even though it may feel unfair or it just make you just like, you know, it just make you just want to say to hell with everything or whatever. But this is also going to be that exact fuel. Even when you want to give up, it's going to allow yourself. Now nah, I'll get rewipe the vision board and back to the drawing board. You know, I want to walk away, reroute yourself right back. You don't work too hard. <laughs> you don't put in too much time. You know, there's there there's a reason for that. And don't think that, you know, it was a waste of time. It wasn't. You know, it may not be clear yet, but it wasn't. But, you know, like I said, it's okay to not be okay all the time. When you're keeping it real and saying, today's just not that day for me, you're being honest. 
You know, and they actually say that's a blessing. When you allow, when things are just not fitting right with you and it's not sitting right, it's allowing you to know what had to be released in the first place because you're going through that moment. Even though it takes some kind of unfortunate events to take place in your life for you to recognize that. So when you're allowing yourself to really see it for what it truly is, you being honest and allowing yourself to say, you know what, I'm not going to, I may not be okay today, but I'm going to be okay tomorrow. And you're setting that in line to the universe and saying, you know what, this ain't my moment today, but it's going to be hell of a lot of a moment tomorrow. I'm going to make it my moment. I'm going to steal that spotlight within my old self to congratulate my new self. So allow yourself to do that. Like I said, um, uh, for my last video, I may or I may not have, um, uh, chat tonight. You know, I'm just allowing myself to play it by ear. So, um, if I do, y'all know. <laughs> you know, I'll usually let y'all know um, if I have it. So, I'm trying to get myself back on track anyway. But, I would love to give a post notification shout out uh, to Miss Katie. Welcome. Um, well, Miss Kate, I'm sorry. Welcome to the fam. Alexander St. Anger, much loved as always. And by Brian Dodgery from uh, Scotland, much love to you as well. And Holly Hughes, welcome back, fam. It's so good to hear from you as well. So, um, you know, hopefully you'll be able to vibe with this video. You know, like, I, y'all know, I usually, when my vibe is like this, I just stay to myself. But it was like something that was guiding me to do videos when I'm in my funk. You know, just to be able to, like, you know, let y'all see. You know, every day ain't no good day for me. But I try to, you know, try to make it very therapeutic, very positive, you know. And, you know, it seeks me towards answers I may not have been able to see when I was in my feelings. So, just being able to show you, I know what you're going through. Trust me. I know what you're going through. And we're going to make it. So, hopefully, you know, be blessed. Whatever you're manifesting into your life is going to come so much bigger and better. Because, you know, they see you constantly go through trials and tribulations. And you still have that urge to keep going and keep going stronger than you did before. And it's going to be a plus for you. And just for that, God's going to bless you in unimaginable ways. And it's going to actually come, you know, sooner than you expected um, as well. So, even through social distancing, make sure you give out love, like positivity, words, vibes, frequencies. You just never know. That can really take you and that person a long way just because you did that and have a blessed safe weekend please be responsible at everything you do and be safe as well much love peace